What's up, everybody? Pony Lover 1989 here. Before I have to talk about another anime title, if you guys want me to watch and react to the entire TV show called Absolute Duo, let me know in the comments below and see what you think. The next anime title I'm going to be telling you about is called Matchless Raijino. Matchless Raijino, or Zetai Muteki Raijino, is a 51-episode Japanese anime TV show and first series produced by the Eldran franchise, funded by Toby. Funded by Toby, and produced by an animation studio who made the Mobile Suit Gundam anime and Inuyasha series, Sunrise. It aired in Japan from April 3rd, 1991 to March 25th, 1992. The story revolves around a group of elementary school children who are given command of a mecha named Raijino and their efforts to defend the Earth from the evil Jaku Evil Empire. There was also a four-episode OVA sequel. Anime Midstream Inc. announced in December 2008 that it required the license for and planned to release the anime series Matchless Raijino in the U.S. sometime in 2009 as their first release. The company began selling the first volume of the series directed from their website, as well as several other online retailers as of late December 2009. The first volume contained episodes 1 through 5. The second volume contained 6 through 10 episodes, which were released September 2010, and translated into a title beginning with this volume. And the current printings of the first volume are now also marked under the title. The third volume was released July 12, 2011, containing episodes 11 and 15. Each volume contains the English dub and Japanese audio, as well as special features such as music videos, clean openings and endings, voice bloopers, and the third volume containing an audio commentary with several of the voice actors, the English dub voice actors. Two more volumes were released June 30th, 2012 on, for Volume 4 and July 1st, 2013 for Volume 5. The rest of the series was released as a 5-disc box set. The Season 2 collection was released September 30th, 2014. However, that set is in Japanese with English subtitles only. The genre is Adventure and Mecha. The plot of the series, prior to the Bam Barger arriving to Earth, an evil organization which was named the Evil Empire, Jaku Teikoku, comes to Earth with the intent to conquer and despoil it. From their fortress, they launch a missile that will flood the world with Akudamas, the eggs of darkness which will hatch into evil monsters called the evil beast, Jakuju based on the things that annoy or frustrate humans. The Guardians of Light, Eldran, appears, an Ultraman-like entity who is sworn to protect the universe and Earth in particular then appears. Using the heroic Raijino robot, Eldran attempts to thwart the evil empire by preventing a missile from striking Earth. What happens instead is that the missile detonated against Eldran, throwing Raijino down to Earth. The robot then crashes into Japan's Hinobori City, elementary school, Hinobori School. Eldran must leave to continue to protect the Earth, so he leaves the duty of defeating the evil beast to the 5th grade classroom full of children, the Earth Defense Class in the school where he crashed. He entrusted children with Raijino, granting each child a different role to perform in either operating or supporting Raijino. Eldran also transforms the school itself, so it can transform into a command center when Raijino is needed. Jin, Asuka, and Koji were chosen to lead the Raijino, but every day they have many amusing experiences in school. Jin doesn't want to study, while his friends do and force him to do it by tickling him. The main character, Jin Huga, is voiced by Ash's, Ash Ketchum's voice actress and band member of Jam Project. 
Rika Matsumoto. Raichu no was a tremendously popular series at the time of its release, spawning two similar sequels and an OVA. This led to the waves of similar TV shows in the early 90s where the child or the children were made into pilots of giant robots. This was a significant change of pace for the mecha genre, which usually pursued an older demographic and used teenage or adult characters as pilots. Raichu Do's success would inspire future anime TV shows like Gear, Gear Fighter Dendo, Machine Robo Rescue, Tomika Hyper Rescue Drivehead Kido QQK Satsu, and Shinkansen Henke Robo Shinkalion, the series that aired back in 2020, I, 2020, I think. I'm not sure. The spiritual successors contain many plot elements that directly is similar to Raijino's premise characters, but with the exception of not having a school to house the robots or an Eldran-like being to create them. Otherwise, Raijino had little worldwide impact, despite some of the success in Southeast Asian countries such as China and Taiwan. Raijino was featured in the New Century Brave Wars game, along with several of the Yusha series robots that were also created by Sunrise around the time. The reason for this was likely to be have been the similarities between the Yusha series and the Eldran trilogy, that both and the series were animated by Sunrise. The toy company which made the Yusha series, Takara, would later merge with Toby, and thus both companies had access to each other's toy ideas, hence why Raijino was part of a video game. However, the other two Eldran series, Genki Bakuhatsu, Gambaruger, and Neketsu Saikyo Go Sora were not included. In fact, a few of the Yusha series robots were also left out of the game. Raijino, Gambaruger, and Gosor may have been included in the Brave Saga New Asteria game. Raijino appeared in several installments of Ban Presto's video game series Super Robot Wars. It appeared in Super Robot Wars CG and its remake, Super Robot Wars XO. Super Robot Wars Neo, and Super Robot Wars BX. This is in part of the due to the fact that Super Robot Wars series largely concerned itself with the 70s and 80s series at the time the game series began in the early 90s. As of 2009, Raijino is nearly 20 years old and therefore old enough to be nostalgic for the adult gamers. It's not clear why Raijino had only appeared in 3D Super Robot War games that only appeared in the Nintendo consoles, as opposed to the more popular 2D games that appeared in the Sony PlayStation systems and Nintendo handhelds until the release of BX. The series first appeared on Sunrise Ayutan for Dreamcast. Later on, it would be included for the Super Robot Wars CG for Nintendo GameCube and again for Super Robot Wars XO for Xbox 360. Raijino is again included as an entry in the Super Robot Wars series of the video games, beginning with Super Robot Wars Neo for the Nintendo Wii, along with other Eldran robots. It also appeared in New Century Brave Wars for the PlayStation 2 in Japan to establish the first official connection between Eldran and the Yusha series, following the merger of Takara and Tobi. It would later appear as one of the various Sunrise animated robots as playable characters in the RPG Battle of Sunrise to celebrate the studio's 30th anniversary, released on PlayStation 2. This also exists a Game Boy fighting game published by Toby in 1991, which had been translated into English through a fan-made patch. Raijino once again was included in Super Robot Wars series in the series Super Robot Wars OE and Super Robot Wars BX. BX is notable for being the first time Raijino appeared in a 2D Super Robot Wars game. Anyway, this is all I can talk about the Mecha series by Sunrise Matchless Raijino. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like me to talk about more anime titles like this one, or if you want me to watch and react to the entire season and series of Pokemon, write down in the comments below and see what you think. Click a thumbs up for a like, notify me, and don't forget to subscribe. Podylover1989 signing off.